Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Bujo Babble. In these videos, if you're not familiar with them, I typically set up my bullet journal while I talk about whatever's on my mind. Today I'll be setting up my second weekly for June, and I gotta be honest, the only thing that's been on my mind for the past few weeks is racism and the Black Lives Matter movement, and all of the injustices that have been allowed to go on for far too long. I've also been trying to figure out where I fit as far as being a vocal ally to the movement as someone with a platform and privilege. And one thing I've been thinking about is that the online bullet journaling, art, lettering community doesn't seem to be nearly as diverse as the offline community that consumes this content and participates in these activities. And I know that there are creators out there who have a variety of identities and experiences, but I don't tend to see them in my algorithm. So I'd like to play whatever part I can in trying to change that. So in that vein, throughout today's video, I will be highlighting some Black creators, some of whom have just started creating content online, who I would urge you to go follow and support and engage with. In between these recommendations, I'm going to be talking about some of what I've read as far as next steps that we can take as a community, what we can do to maintain this momentum and to influence real change going forward. I will compile my resources where I got this information for further reading and credit. It will be linked in the description box down below because these are not my original ideas, but the result of my extensive reading and research and absorbing of this information over the past few weeks. It should also be said that these steps are primarily directed to people with white privilege who have the intent to support the movement, but maybe need a little more direction. It can be really overwhelming the amount of information that's out there, and it can be hard to know where to start, what to focus on first. So I hope that this video might be able to help on that front. I am of course open to feedback and constructive criticism if there's something I get wrong or something that I recommend that isn't in fact particularly helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below if there is anything like that. I want to be helpful and that's why, as I said, this information is information that I have compiled from resources online and black voices that I have been following and listening to. So hopefully this is all useful, helpful information. I want to start with the basics just in case someone is watching this video who maybe isn't on social media, isn't consuming the news right now, and is sort of at square one of their anti-racism journey. So the bare minimum of what we should all already be doing, especially if you are white like me, that baseline should be listening to black voices, truly listening to what they have to say not waiting to respond, not sharing our own anecdotes about the police, not gaslighting or distracting them from their purpose, just actively listening and truly absorbing what's being communicated to us, being open-hearted enough to truly hear the message, looking at our own beliefs and how the current racist structure of society has benefited us. As official millennial black on Instagram so succinctly said, understanding your relationship to systemic racism is an important and difficult step. And it's one of the first steps we all need to take. The first creator I'm going to share with you all today is Oshi's Bujo on Instagram. Oshi loves to read, bake, cross stitch, and journal, and has enjoyed sending mail to her pals during lockdown. She would love to maybe find a new pen pal, so if you're interested, go check out her work. Here is one of her recent spreads based on the film 1917. Go give her a follow and say hello. The link to her Instagram is in the description box down below. Okay. So you're listening. Awesome. Another baseline bare minimum thing we should all be doing is reading articles and books written by black people about their experiences. Taking the time to learn more about systemic racism and its history in whatever country you live in. What's happening now isn't new. These aren't isolated incidents. 
work to understand how current events fit into a larger pattern and history of treating Black lives as disposable. Because I'm Canadian, I've been seeking out Black and Indigenous voices from my own nation to hear their experiences with racism in Canada. I'm also learning about the history of racism in general on a more global scale, as well as the history in the United States. Because while I'm not American, much of Canada and the US's history and culture is intertwined, and I believe it's my responsibility to understand those dynamics. I also have many friends and family who live in the United States, and I want to understand their situation in a more nuanced way. I'll link a blog post in the description box with links to articles and books to read. This is just a jumping off point. There are so many resources on the internet, just a Google search away. Again, the books and articles I have compiled are predominantly from an American and Canadian perspective. If you're from another country and have a recommendation for a great article or book speaking about your specific area and its history and or present with racism, please let me know and I can add it to the list. The next creator I want to highlight is Kindle Journals on Instagram. Tiara has just recently started her Bujogram and is an elementary school dance teacher who works at a disadvantaged school of the arts. She loves planning and uses her journal as art therapy. Here is one of her recent spreads, Playlist Vibes for April. Check out her work and give her some support. Link in the description box down below. So you're listening and reading. You're learning. You're absorbing and growing and questioning your own biases and misconceptions. Now it's time to take action. Sign petitions, donate to Black-led organizations, GoFundMes, and bail funds for protesters. And make those donations recurring if you can. Call and email your local government representatives and make sure you take the time to vote. Check out the link in my description for a host of links to petitions and deserving organizations in need of donations, as well as email templates to contact your local officials to demand justice and change. Listening and reading is not enough. The internal work is so important, but we need to take it outside of our own heads and off of social media into the real world if we want to help create true societal change. Our next featured creator is A is for Anya on Instagram. Anya is a 22-year-old Black content creator, and you can mostly find bullet journaling and study content on her page. She's hoping to start her YouTube channel very soon so she can continue to inspire, educate, and create change. Here is her latest spread. Be sure to check her out and say hi. Link in the description box down below. So what else can we do? We're listening, we're reading, we're learning, we're taking action in our communities. We can amplify Black voices. No matter how small your reach may be, you can make a difference. Share information on your social media, retweet and regram with proper credit, of course, always, please, the words of Black people. Have difficult conversations with other white people, especially your family and friends. Take some of the burden off of the shoulders of Black people by taking the education of fellow white people onto your own shoulders. Our next featured creator is Unearthing KTP on Instagram. Kendra is a Toronto-based watercolor artist who enjoys painting florals and wildlife. She has been drawing since high school and recently started sharing on social media. Here is one of my personal favorite paintings of hers. Be sure to go follow her on Instagram, link in the description box. Another important step for white folks to take moving forward is supporting Black-owned businesses over large corporations. Do research in your area to find local Black-owned bookstores, grocery stores, sustainable designers, and support small Black business owners on Etsy and Instagram. Stop supporting companies that do not support the Black community or who do not treat their Black employees with respect. Our next featured creator for today is Picks and Plans on Instagram. This Instagram page is run by Sonny and Jasmine, and this is some of their recent work. Check them out on Instagram with the link in the description box. The last action step I want to suggest is to take care of your mental health through all of this. If we are to remain useful to the movement, we must create space to pause and rest on occasion to prevent burnout. Take breaks from social media. There is so much to learn online, but it is also so easy to be overstimulated. As Grace F. Victory on Instagram said, remember, 
this work must continue through lifetimes. It can't if we are exhausted. Release your emotions, cry, exercise, sleep, yell into a pillow. Systemic racism should make all of us angry as hell, and suppressing emotions can lead to extreme fatigue and anxiety. Lean on your non-Black family and friends for support. Practice self-care in the ways that work best for you to ensure that you have the energy and capacity to continue your anti-racist work. And our last, but definitely not least, featured creator for today is Julia Royal. Julia is a graphic designer, illustrator, and co-owner of Layton Moon, specializing in brand identity, creative strategy, and custom typography. Julia is based out of New Mexico and has been designing for national and local clients for more than 15 years. She stays organized and creatively sane, utilizing her bullet journal, and has recently started a channel documenting her bullet journal on YouTube. YouTube. Check out both her YouTube channel and Instagram with the links in my description box. We are on an uphill climb, but we are climbing together. Please let me know in a comment what you are doing today in your own personal anti-racist journey and to support the Black Lives Matter movement. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and support and for being so caring and wonderful as an audience, as a group of human beings. I really appreciate it. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons for their support. Thank you so, so much. Extra special thank yous to our newest patrons, Megan, Caroline, and Lauren. Welcome all of you to the squad. If you at home want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. Another reminder here to go check out the creators I gave shout outs to in this video. They really deserve your engagement and support and, and friendship in this online community. If you are a Black, Indigenous, or a person of color who has an Instagram or a YouTube channel that you'd like me to shout out in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. This is something I would like to continue doing in the future to try to bring some more visibility to some of these creators that aren't necessarily getting that leg up from the algorithm. Thank you again so much for watching this video and really absorbing the message. Bye friends.